hello 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 everybody welcome to my channel my name is shining light true crime if you're new here please feel free to look around get yourself comfortable if you like what you hear comment down below if you don't like what you hear comment down below still all opinions are welcome what I won't tolerate is hate Or bashing any one of my shining stars. Anyway, I want to talk about some stuff that came out last night in regards to Jody Sue. I'm glad she stood her ground. I'm glad she didn't allow them to manipulate her because Candace is one manipulating person and so is Don Wells. They would try to manipulate the hell out of your big toe if you let it. Candace, the fact that you're supposed to be a mother and allowing your daughter to take a shower with her father, knowing what kind of person he is and what kind of background he has, says a lot about you. You'd rather be out there bumping your gums and flapping your gums and getting mad at people and just talking nonsense when you should have been in there snatching your damn daughter out of that shower. She shouldn't have even been in there taking a shower with her father. Most real men wouldn't even feel comfortable doing that. So how are you going to try to tell somebody what they saw? You could probably do that to those kids. And that's and more and that right there is a big sign that lets me know that's what you did to your sons. And then the fact that she said you tried to pay her lets me know why there's a lot of shut mouths around there. You can't pay everybody. Because if anybody had a conscience and a heart, they would have done the same thing. And as far as people talking about they don't understand what the land deeds got to do with anything you never know it might have a lot to do with something and how many people want that land or how many people they ripped off or maybe they owe somebody that paid for that land and they still ain't paid them back and that could be the reason why she's gone you never know so don't sit up there and discredit somebody's hard work If you don't know all your facts. Gigi and Nita work very hard to get the information that they get. And to try to sit there and discredit someone. For their hard work. And their research. You don't know what it has to do with anything. And I'm feeling it has a lot to do with a lot of something. What you need to be questioning is, is why there's four signatures on a lot of stuff. And how that land deed is null and void. Because of the notary. <clears throat> that person's not even allowed to be a notary republic. Or whatever the hell you call them. It's still too early in the morning for me. He has been in prison and he has felonies and, and all kinds of stuff already for pretending to be something he's not. So why don't you do your homework and you sit back and look and analyze and see why somebody would take somebody's child and the parents have everything to do with it 
allegedly and in my opinion. See, what y'all try to do is y'all try to make a mountain out of a molehill. If you sit back and listen to what anybody says about the land deeds, the money, all that stuff, it'll make you think and have a whole better understanding. See, them wells ain't who you think they are. Dawn goes by a whole different name. And I want to thank Gigi and David from Justice for All the Children in Nita's World for all their work and, and information because they gave me some missing links that I needed. It's not what you know, it's who you know. And they are highly connected with some big people. Trust and believe that. Remember, Dawn's and Candace has been to many different states. Has many different warrants and been to prison. And has many offenses. So ask yourself this. Why was it that he wasn't able to stay in jail for that DUI? Because where I'm from, your first offense, that's, autom that's an automatic 10 days and your license are revoked for three years. Second is an automatic 30 days. If your fourth one, after your fourth or fifth one, you're spending some years in there. So that ought to tell you it's about who you know. So before people get up there and start bashing people, sit down and listen and do your homework. Write some of these names down and make a connection. And you'll see who all probably was around that day that you didn't even see in the background. Like for instance, that red truck that crashed and Dawn and Jackie Dobbs was being such a big hero. Why was even Jackie Dobbs around there? You want to know why? Because of the person that was driving that truck. He's related to him. Ethan Wise. Like I said, thank you, Gigi. She gave me some keys to the missing links that I needed. And once I get done putting it all together, somehow, some way, I'll figure out how to present it to you. I don't know what to use to get on here and show stuff, show pictures while I'm talking, but I will figure it out. Because this little girl needs to be found. And I find it <clears throat> amazing how the little girl, I think she's from Florida. Her name is Isabel or Isabella. She was adopted and she went missing. Well, her adopted parents got arrested yesterday morning due to the suspicion of second-degree second degree murder. Why is it that they got fast action and Donna, Candace, and Jackie, and Trezell are still walking around free? Like I said, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Look at Barry Morphew. He got out. Why? Money talks, bullshit walks. Especially to when you have police officers that don't make very much and has a family. 
They'll do anything for an extra buck. <clears throat> and you already know they're trying to, they're paying people. Because they try to pay Jody Sue. And whoever took money over a child's life is just as much guilty as the parents, in my opinion. So again, people, if you're wondering what a land deed has to do with anything, go back and research it. That land and that house falls back to one place. One place. And all this fraudulent behavior makes you wonder why they're writing fraudulent signatures on there. If they didn't pay whoever they're supposed to be paying that they owe, don't you think that has something to do with possibly why Summer was taken? Or given, whichever one you want to call it. So, Candace, next time you try to turn a, bl a blind eye or turn your cheek the other way, when you know for a fact that your daughter was in there and you allowed it, what kind of woman are you? And don't play it off like you're scared because you're not. Your mom done said, if you want, if you wanted to, you could beat up Don. So don't play that battered, broken, and destroyed woman. Because you're far from that. I would have beat his ass if I found out that was happening to my daughter. It wouldn't have been no standing there and allowing it. But again, that makes me different from you because I'm a real mother. See, a woman can make, give have um, a woman can give birth, but it doesn't make her a mother. Just like a dog, a dog can have puppies, but it doesn't make it a mother. And that's exactly what you are. You're a dog. Getting on here. With your fake crime. And then 30 seconds later you're laughing. Save them fake crocodile tears. Save the fucking acting. You had your minute of acting on Dr. Phil. What I don't understand is. Why you're sitting there not saying nothing. What is it that Dawn has over you? Could it possibly be. <clears throat> your sister Rose. And how, in fact, that her vehicle was not found at no truck stop. And it was found in the parking lot of a laundromat. A laundromat in which you worked at. And I always wondered why your other sister, Jeannie, kept, hadn't been too much in the spotlight. And when I found out that she married Rose's husband, my mouth dropped to the floor. And guess who else worked in that area? If you guess Jeannie, ding, 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 ding. Jeannie had the hots for Rose's husband. Because after Rose went missing... Jeannie made it seem like she ran off with another man. She filled her husband's head up, Rose's husband's head up with bullcrap, which is why he got a divorce and got so custody over them girls, over the children. And then ended up marrying him. 
And now you understand why he did what he did. Because Jeannie made him believe that Rose ran off with another man. That's why you hadn't heard much from her. Go back and look. Do your research. Put it all together. Because Gigi helped me with the genie part in the Rose's vehicle. Because I knew her vehicle went parked at no truck stop. I just didn't know where it was. So thank you, Gigi. Again. Everybody, if you haven't already subscribed to Justice for All the Children. Or you may can find it under hashtag Justice for Summer Wells. Please go uh, subscribe to them and let them know I sent you. They're pretty good people. And Gigi's been doing this stuff for a long time. She has a lot of experience. So if this video doesn't open somebody's eyes and expose some truth, then I guess you need to go get your vision and your hearing checked. Because it's all right there laid out. Let me throw my disclaimer in there. This video is solely based on my opinion and my opinion only. Nothing in this video is 100% facts. This video is to bring awareness and shine light on the events that are going on today. I advise everyone to good please just go do some digging. You'd be amazed at what you can find. Everybody have a blessed day. Peace, love, and many a blessings. And I'll see you later, my shining stars. Mwah.